Hello and welcome back to the next game until I die. This is episode 28 of my playthrough of Fallout New Vegas. In the previous episode we started off by heading to Veronica's terminal uh, where the uh, research from Elijah, I think his name is, the uh, former elder of the Brotherhood of Steel, uh, he kept his research on that terminal or Veronica had a way of accessing his research. Anyway, there was um, three projects that uh, she thinks would be worth pursuing. There was the weapon at Helios 1, there was the uh, anti-power armor gun, um, it sounds like a, a rail gun or something, and there was uh, research into vegetation acceleration. Now we already knew about the weapon at Helios 1, and we already knew about the vegetation at Vault 23 or 26 or wherever. Uh, we heard about that from um, Count McCarran's research people. Uh, I've forgotten his name. But basically we've got, we've already had a, a quest to go into Helios 1 and we already had a quest to go to Vault 23. So the only one that we didn't already know about was the, the gun. So I've decided that we're going to pursue that for Veronica. Um, but while we were there, we also went to Helios 1 and fought our way through the defense grid to reach the top of the activation tower, I guess. And uh, we distributed the power to the entire Vegas area, but it wasn't enough to sustain that power, so there will be brownouts for people, but it seemed like the most uh, nice thing to do, rather than just sending it to a couple of places, specifically uh, the Vegas Strip and McCarran, or Westside and somewhere else. So, or we could have activated the weapon, which was Archimedes 2, I believe it was called. And we didn't want to do that because well, we don't want to unleash that sort of weapon on the world. Because we're a good guy, really. Anyway, uh, we didn't actually finish the Helios 1 side quest. We've uh, actually done all we need to. We just need to head back down and talk to Fantastic, I think his name was. Or possibly the uh, NCR guard on the door. So uh, I'm just going to load up our save. And yeah, the pulse gun is uh, the quest we've decided to do for Veronica. Uh, so we're just going to head back down here. Shouldn't take us too long to get out. Well, I'm surprised we're going up to get out. Like, we're going really far up. No, we want to go there, back up this way. Still see the sunlight reflected onto the uh, control tower there. So yeah, we were just up there, and then we went up and up and up and up, and we came out here. I guess there is like a lift or something that uh, we don't get to see the movement of. Also, I'm 
curious, there's more red spots over here. So, I'm guessing the dogs that I thought were here last time, but weren't, have now spawned. Yep. Not sure why they weren't here last time we came. Also, Veronica's got that helmet back on. Does she change depending on whether or not she's outside? This chain link fence perimeter is worthless. We might as well be defending a cage from the inside. <laughs> What can I help you with? I saw that on the monitors here, and you sent it to everyone. Very admirable. Now that the NCR has more or less what they want, hopefully their curiosity about the plan is satisfied, and they'll dig no deeper. The followers will be grateful. Here, take these as a parting gift. I hope you'll find them useful. Ooh, big book of science. Keeping watch mostly. Trying to make sure the dangers of this plant are minimized. Goodbye. His face softly spoken. Right, big book of science. Oh, increase our science by four. Uh, Lower inside, so we lose ten. I think. So we should have, I don't know, I think we get 20 outside. I'll check it once we get out there. We might have over 100. Hey man. Yo. Adios amigo. Okay, we can't tell him we did anything. He's just going to take credit for it anyway. So dead end. That's locked. What is it? So you're not gonna tell me later anything either. Right, now we're outside. What's our science? Still eighty five. Mm, okay, maybe it doesn't go up by ten. What's up? I was young and I needed the money. <laughs> Darn it. I had some spectacular answers coming too. What are your thoughts? How could you know, right? Okay, two other options still on the table. Okay, I won't. See you around. I do we should put on a proper helmet. I mean, the only way I can get you to do that is by taking your space helmet. I don't want to carry that thing. Right, where am I heading? I think I'm going up to an air 
base up north. Yeah. Nice. Uh, but along the way, we had some other quests we need to do. Might pop into Macaron and have a look at that if we reach there in time. We need to get there at night time. Right. We're heading up there now. Yeah, it's quite a uh, trek. What time is it now? 12 o'clock. We might make it. We've got 12 hours to get there. Shouldn't take us that long to get up there, surely. There's more ants. Let's see if we can uh, take him out. Seems to be something else over here. Ah, uh, blue flies. A lot of enemies over that way now. And that's all the dogs, I think. Let's see them. I do wonder if there's an ant's nest around here that we can actually enter, kill the queen in, like we've done in a, a previous ant's nest. Looks like a cave. Have a look. Balls 11, apparently. Right, there's enemies. Just 
trouble. It's just low level critters, Malika. save just in case. Ooh, these guys did not do very well. Seems like uh, these guys got to the exit and then killed themselves. For some reason. Is that they were having some sort of election? Curious why there's stuff dripping from the pipes. Why is an NCR trooper in here? Nice one.
What the hell? They're all trying to get somebody else elected. Lots of cigarettes in here. I hate Nate. Is this a dead end? Yes, it is. Oh, I don't know, it's a cigar lounge. That might explain why there's so many cigarettes. We should stop doing that, Edie. It makes me think there's a mine or something. What the hell went down? On down here. That leads downstairs. Let's uh, close that door for the moment. Let's finish exploring up here. Alright, 
definitely not so roughing. So, uh, heal that. Still got. There we are. Wait, that's downstairs again. me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Equip that, damn it. It's got a damage rating of four. Oh, I suppose that does as well. That's a damage rating of ten. Okay. Not trapped. No, we've read all that. This is the other way we're going to go. So I guess we need to go downstairs now. There's some more enemies to kill. You guys have fun. That's enough of that. Yeah, let's take it away. A lot of nothing up here.
Không kệ đi I just want to check something. Please give two melee weapon two speech. Two melee weapon two speech. So I don't think we can repair the armored version with the non-armored version. Uh -oh. So we'll just ignore these jumpsuits. Good for you. Sounds painful though. Do you kill? Seriously, what did you kill? I don't see any corpses. That's all the usual gumph. Everyone's going to move on. 
By the time we've reformed, who knows if we'll still be in the majority? We can hold the block together. You don't know that. Besides, what if the computer picks you? What if it picks me? And your solution is to start shooting? Not if we don't have to. Look, we arm up. We go to the lower floors, take some strategic targets. Power, food, water. Just until she turns authority over to us. The other blocks won't support it. They're tired of us having the power. We have the majority. We don't need them. This isn't a vote, Roy. They'll fight back. They've never had the nerve. Hell of a way to test it. Alright, so I guess there was uh, a bit of disagreement about the Overseer making it a random lottery. And, uh... Ended up having people re revolt, I guess. Yeah, I need to start drinking stuff. I'm losing track of where I've already been. I think we've been in here. I'd remember the metal armor. What have been there? Anyway, are these the female dorms? Why is there a guy's computer in here? Or maybe that was the male dorms? And they're actually the male and the female dorms are connected. So we've done the female dorms, we've done the male dorms. So the only place left to go now is the admin. I think we've looked at that. Yeah. Obviously his office that way. Probably the last place we want to go, so let's go to security. Can I even pick this? I guess I'm quite high science level now. Oh, one out of eleven. Okay, explanation's the closest we've got so far. Let's see if we can reset the uh, password count. I guess that's a no, I can't see any more. OK. 
could be that one. Could be night vision. Or it could be ignition. Okay, well, let's try again. Can I not skip that? There we go. Right, let's see how many duds and stuff we can remove. There's one. It's just the one. Okay. I'm gonna have to try and guess the password here. Let's start with worshipping. No. Six out of eleven for description. Again, description is really close, so maybe this password doesn't change. Let's see if we can find a reset. Hey, we did. It's something that looks like description. special markers in this one. Nope. Perfect. Took longer than I was hoping, but uh, we got in eventually. So there's going to be some nice ammo in here. Pulse mines, missiles, energy cells, all needs, flame fuel. to give some leads to uh, Veronica, I think. Yep. 
Oops, I really don't want to take that junk. Now uh, we're on a misc. Let's see. Don't need the ashtrays. I've still got these random heads. Okay, so apparently the guys here are assholes. Monica. Ooh, got something good for me? Mm. Is it a dress? No. It's a load of meat and stuff. In fact, I think I'll just probably give you the um, cigarettes. Say weigh the most. I've never had cartons. There they are. How much do I weigh now? Heh. <laughs> Hardly anything. So, overseer's office now. Apparently the atrium is blocked off. Ah, I guess we'll go down here first. And I guess we'll go down again. to the reactor.
boom. And it is water. Downstairs as well. Look behind here. Fuck. Okay, apparently this is actually all meant to be underwater, which is why I'm getting reds. <laughs> that leads up. That leads down. Let's go down first. I think that'll connect with the other... Oh, fuck. It's just water. Seems to be anything down here. Actually, the reactor. I think we've reached the limit of what we can actually do down there. Poof. Also, that must have been a lot of rads I took. Not too many. Jesus, Veronica. I'm kind of worried there's going to be uh, landmines around here. Yep. Lag. Let's uh, let the physics work itself out and then uh, I'll feel the count out of it. Alright, I guess somebody tripped that. Uh, possibly the Mantis.
Not a lot down here. That's a dead end. Okay. I've had worse. Worse what? Okay, so apparently the Overseer had to sacrifice themselves at the end of the year's term uh, for reasons unknown. No, don't sit on the fucking chair. That was stupid. Which way did I come? I guess this way? Yeah, I came this way. Right. Can't see any more enemies around. Yeah, that's fine. I've just read this. Can't get up there. So, guess we need to head back the way we came. Uh, now we've got a password for the Overseer's Terminal. We've got to find the Overseer, Overseer's um, office. Oh, well, I'm confused. And we have to go back down into the reactor?
not down stairs because uh, I nearly drowned. I'll work down this way though. Alright, it's the same place. Let me have a quick check. Do I have anything that could help me breathe underwater? Would be a no. Okay, let me just have a quick look at the map. There's just one room down there. If we can get there quickly. Yeah, there's nothing in there, it's just a lot of boxes. Right away. That just leaves us with 50 rads, so we manage that. Oh wow, we're already at the hour mark. Uh, let's see if we can find the overseer's terminal and then. Uh some sort of conclusion to this escapade. Holy sh Jesus, what? actually exploded there. Was it the actual uh, reactor? Have I just been down here? I must have done because there's ash piles. More water. Open that. Lady. I wish I could see the UI underneath water.
Okay, we're back here again. Ah, here's the overseer's office. Fuck! Haha, <laughs> made me jump. Very booby trap this place. I'm not convinced we want to go down there. Congratulations, Martyr. Your fantastic journey is only just beginning. Please proceed to the light. Uh. What's gonna happen? Am I gonna die? The light is calming and puts your mind at ease. Go to the light. Oh, fuck. Welcome. Please sit in the chair. The show is about to begin. I sit in that chair. Am I going to die? of a fresh cigar but march with your chin held high soldier and remember that each of us has an important role to play for some people their role might be to heal the sick for others it might mean they will drive a race car or fly a rocket ship and some of us are meant to forfeit our lives for the good of the people sure it might not be as fun as driving a race car but it's every bit as important. Let's take a moment to reflect on the moments that made your life worth living. Think about that time you kissed your steady girl for the first time under the bleachers at the big game. Or when you snuck out after curfew to catch that new flick that your parents wouldn't let you see because it was too scary. Boy, were they right. And who could forget when you met the love of your life? What a looker. These are just examples. Do you feel that feeling stirring in your chest as you think of these things? Don't worry, no. Good. What you are feeling is peace. You've led a great life. Living it has been its own reward. But it is only the beginning. Close your eyes now. And imagine what joys await you in the next life. The afterlife. Can you see them? Good. Oh shit. Holy shit. <laughs> it's really laggy. Um, I think I'm going to take some medics. Oh 
Oh, look at fuck off. Okay, let's uh, use a stim pack or two. And I know this is going to cause a lot of lag, but uh, pulse grenades. Wakey, wakey. Oof. That was fun. It was me thinking they were going to gas me. If it just gassed me and left me locked in that room, I would have had no way of escaping. Is there really not anything down here? The reward? No super cool weapon that I can pick up. Don't know if I'm going to need that anymore. Laser pistol back on. I'll deliver main for him. These are all right. I know you can hear me, so listen up. There's five of us left, five out of I don't know how many. So it's over. We've talked and it's over. We're not going to send anybody to die anymore. So shut off our water, our gases, or do whatever it is you're programmed to do. But we're done listening to you. Congratulations, citizens of Vault 11. You have made the decision not to sacrifice one of your own. You can walk with your head held high, knowing that your commitment to human life is a shining example to us all. And to make that feeling of pride even sweeter, I have some exciting news. Despite what you were led to believe, the population of Vault 11 is not going to be exterminated for its disobedience. Instead, the mechanism to open the main vault door has now been enabled, and you can come and go at your leisure. But not so fast. Be sure to check with your overseer to find out if it's safe to leave. Here at vault Tech, your safety is our number one priority. The bastards. It was all a test, and this vault failed. Right, I'm pretty sure that means we can now leave. Yep. Uh, but uh, it's already at hour and 20 minute mark, so I think I'm just gonna save the game and we will leave in the next episode. Right, 
So, uh, in this episode, we've uh, more or less just spent the entire time going through Vault 11. Um, this was a uh, vault set up to see how people would re react if uh, they were forced to sacrifice a member of their community every year in order to continue living. Now, it looks like Vault Tech expected them to refuse to do this right from the off and they would get the permission to leave or stay as they wanted. Uh, unfortunately, their community never actually figured this out until there was only five of them left. And uh, yeah, they just carried on sacrificing each other, basically made it into an election so that one person was elected by the rest of the uh, community in order to continue living. Uh, it's a bit psychotic when you think about it. Um, I'm quite glad that it turned out to be uh, shot to death rather than gas to death, because if there was gas I wouldn't have been able to escape. But uh, because it was uh, robots shooting at me, I was able to hide in a corner and deal with them as I needed to. Um, in the next episode we will finally leave this vault. Uh, not sure what time it is, hopefully it's not too late. We're going to try and get to Camp McCarran during the night so we can catch this um, Caesar's Legion spy in the act. But if not, there's other stuff we can do around the uh, freeside area. So, until then, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye for now. See you again soon.